Hello and welcome to this video on titrations. My name is Eri Kim and in this video we'll be identifying the equivalence point on a titration curve. Recall from an earlier video that in an acid-base titration, the point at which neutralization occurs is when the equivalence of acid equals the equivalence of base. Taking a look at a prototypical titration curve, the x-axis represents the amount of base of a known concentration added to the acid with unknown concentration. The pH is monitored, which is represented on the y-axis, and at a certain point will change rapidly. And the pH at which this change occurs is what we term the equivalence point. Taking a look at a reaction between hydrochloric acid, a strong acid, and sodium hydroxide, a strong base, the products of the reaction is sodium ions, chloride ions, and water. Equivalence point is when there are equal amounts of acid and base and would indicate complete neutralization, which will be at a pH of 7 at 25 degrees Celsius. Since sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid each donate one equivalent, so react in a 1 to 1 ratio, you can see in the graph that one equivalent of sodium hydroxide is necessary to reach equivalence point. Notice that the products of a strong acid strong base neutralization reaction are not reactive and will not affect the pH. This will be important to know later in another video when the products of an acid base neutralization can affect the pH. In many acid base titrations, a small amount of a color changing compound called an indicator is added to the titration. Indicators are carefully chosen for the pH range in which they change color and will be a visual indicator when the equivalence point is reached. The end point is a physical property of the indicator, so the pH at which the color changes, whereas the equivalence point is a stoichiometric and theoretical point which reflects neutralization, and as such, there is a small but usually negligible difference between the end point and the equivalence point. The applied question asks you to determine the concentration of 100 milliliters of sodium hydroxide, a strong base. The concentration of hydrochloric acid is 0.1 normal. Using the given curve, the volume of acid added that indicates the inflection point is 40 milliliters. At this volume of hydrochloric acid, the equivalence point has been reached. The equation that relates the normality and volume of acid or base at the equivalence point is Normality of acid multiplied by volume of acid equals normality of base multiplied by volume of base. This equation is covered in an earlier video. Rearrange the equation to solve for the unknown, which is the normality of base. The normality of hydrochloric acid is 0.1 normal, volume of acid added according to the graph is 40 milliliters, and the volume of sodium hydroxide is 100 milliliters. The normality of sodium hydroxide is 0.04 normal. Also note, since this is a titration between a strong base and a strong acid, it makes sense that the equivalence point is at a pH of 7. The second apply question asks us to calculate the concentration of acetic acid. We're told that the sodium hydroxide has a concentration of 0.25 normal. Taking a look at the graph, the inflection point of the line is approximately 30 milliliters, which represents the equivalence point. Using the same equation from earlier, and rearrange to solve for the normality of acid, the normality of base is 0.25 normal, the volume of base added is 30 milliliters, and the volume of acetic acid from the question stem is 50 milliliters. The calculated normality of acetic acid is 0.15 normal. Notice in this case, the pH of the equivalence point is not 7, which is reflective of the fact that the titration is between a weak acid and a strong base. In another video, you'll learn why that's the case and how to predict the pH at the equivalence point when either the acid or base is weak. Great job working through the interpretation of titration curves and how to incorporate the calculation steps. Make sure you follow up with some practice questions.